Hi, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and here I am today with a new camera, a new background, and a new jewelry jar. Now this is actually a plastic vase, but it has two pounds, 14 ounces worth of jewelry items. So not a, a, a small lot at all. Um, and it was $9.99 Canadian on 50% off for the uh, Boxing Day sale, which was held December 27th. So I was lucky enough to get this at an amazing price. Who can, where can you buy five pounds, uh, two and, where can you buy almost three pounds of jewelry for five dollars? And because it's the Salvation Army, there's no taxes on top of that. Now, there's some interesting things in here. If you look at the top of the jar, there's a bunch of uh, little Ziploc bags with beads in them. So we'll see if they're plastic, glass, what they are. There's a uh, red necklace, some um, kids beads, some pony beads. Not sure what these ones are. They could be glass. They're quite pretty looking. Some rhinestones. This looked suspiciously like a uh, napkin ring either that or it's a very small cuff um there's a not sure if this is a bracelet um with the the metal um tubes on it there's a nice bracelet here and i saw where was it oh yes i don't know if you can see this right in behind here there's a butterfly pin or something um, some uh, pearls of some sort. I think this is the rest of the rhinestones that we saw near the top. Some those look pretty much like plastic beads. So I'm going to um, cut into the top of this carefully with my exacto knife, and then I'll get back to you with the contents of the jar. See you back soon. Okay, here we are back. Um, so this was the tape at the top of the jar and all these little bags of beads are stuck to it. So I hope you don't mind while I take a second and carefully pull them off when someone's gone to all the work of putting them in bags. I'd hate to uh, have the bags break. Oh, this might be a little trickier than... Oh, there's another one. Another one. Pink ones, yellow ones. This, this one's a little tough. And let's see if we get this green one to come off. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this sticky old tape. Now, these look interesting. These are some... Oh, these are glass. Pretty. Now, the nice thing about my new camera is that it's so much better <laughs> actually this is a new phone that I was um, a spare phone from a family member because mine was decommissioned I had an old Blackberry phone and I finally couldn't use it anymore and uh, I now have an amazing phone so these are some nice sort of rainbow glass beads very pretty um, if you've seen any of my previous videos you know that I like um, jewelry supplies and beads that I can reuse. Oh, this is a bag full of dagger beads. Oh, and these are glass too. Oh, these are very nice. Look at that beautiful pale blue sort of frosty color. Wouldn't those be nice to make um, like a fringe necklace or I saw a Procosia um, pattern for, not a pattern, but a sample for snowflakes that used dagger beads. So this is a huge bag. Look at that. Um, amazing. Um, so, you know, to buy these, just those on, the, on themselves brand new, um, would cost me about what I paid for the jewelry jar, if you're buying them in Canadian dollars. So there, made my money back, and I will have fun with those. Oh, this is so exciting. Now, these are glass as well, and they're, there's four of them. And they're kind of, a, I don't know if you can see, a twisted sort of oval. And you can sort of see through them. You can see the sort of a, a bit of a, 
a bluish shine to them, but they tend to look black just on first glance, so I'm not sure. Um, maybe if I put some blues with them, that would bring out the blue colors. Um, here's a little random bag of, of beads. I'm not going to open up all the bags of beads because we might be here for for years and years. Some little yellow ones that feel like glass beads. Another big bag of daggers. Wow. I really lucked out. Look at these beautiful black daggers. Oh, I can just, you know what? I'm going to have to do some videos of jewelry making this year. 20 or, I mean, in 2022, in the new year. Um, and so I'm just kind of wrap my head around what I would do with these different kinds of beads. A few little orange beads, some, I think, they feel like glass pearls. Yeah. If you look at the, the bubbly paint, where did I see it? On one of them anyway. You can sort of see the the finish on them, but those are pretty. They can certainly be used with uh, many other beads. Um, some little green ovals. Some pink uh, little flat uh, circles. Again, glass. Now, I was worried that um, these were going to be all plastic. Well, not really worried so much as um, I was hoping they would be glass because then I would use them and if they were plastic they would be they would go in my um, uh, what do I call it my kids my kids box for uh, the grandchildren or you know kids parties if we're doing jewelry making it's always fun to do jewelry making with kids it's you never they always come up with such neat ideas so here's some little pink um, they're really pretty. Like they're like a, um, they remind me of currants before they're fully uh, ripened. So I'm not sure what you would call that color. Nice little round uh, glass beads. Some square pink ones. Or square cube pink ones. Um, there's some clear, uh, flat diamonds. We well, can see the channel for stringing them right there. These are, oh, these are pretty. These are interesting. These are like, uh, a twisted, uh, twisted shape in glass. Really pretty color. Really pretty. Um, some pink. What are those? They're kind of like a faceted diamond, bright, brighter than bubblegum pink. Uh, these are interesting. This is just jewelry supply. Oh, these are kind of neat. They're, they're, uh, they look like they would be a stone, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are glass. Very nice. Five of them. That's enough to, you know, put into a bracelet or a necklace to make a statement. And here are some sort of rusty orange flat circles, similar in size and shape to the pink ones. These ones would go nice with the in terms of color with these ones here. We'll see. Um, oh, so I love these kind of daggers. I think I have some of these already. Look at their, like, a, a, a not quite a Aurora Borealis, but pretty close. Sort of a mirror finish on one side and a, a, a clear on the other side. So there's a nice little bag of those. I wonder if somebody got tired of beading and handed over their stash. Or thrifted their stash. Uh, not thrifted. Donated their stash to the thrift store. And I get, I tend to get tongue-tied when I get too excited. These are cool. They're like a pinch bead. So they're pinched in the sides. Uh, so a cube where the sides have been pinched. And there's, what, 
four, six, eight of those. So again, enough to fit into a bracelet or a necklace. And another set of blue. These are all glass so far. Look at that cool aqua color. Very, very pretty. Um, so, got my work cut out for me for 2022. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty bags of beads. And I think there's one I missed that I didn't actually show you. A little teeny tiny bag here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, this is, oh, it's just one of those little uh, twisty beads. Uh, so all those bags and some random little red bits. And we've only been into the very tip top of the jar. Now, oh, I probably shouldn't have spilt it. Look, look what I got. This huge mess of random beads. So, okay, what I'm going to do. Ah! They're falling on the floor. They're going everywhere. I'm going to pick up some of this bigger stuff and put it to the side. I'm going to uh, ooh, see if I can get most of the random beads out. Give you a look at them. Okay. So we got some. I'm going to put some of the whole pieces to the side. Did you see this when it fell out? Look at that. That is a gorgeous earring. There's one of them. And I thought I saw a pair for it. But I don't see it now. So I'll be looking for the match for that. So if you look, look at all these beads, I'm going to have to find a... Uh, something to put them in. There's, uh, that's one would go nicely with some those other sort of brownish glass ones. There's some more pinch type beads. There's greens, there's oranges. So def oh, there's uh, another one of those. So I will have uh, great fun um, sorting and packaging those beads. Now, in the meantime, I'm just going to go get a container to put them in so that I don't have the biggest spill of beads in the world. I'll be back, right back. And I'm back. So here's what I've done with the uh, loose beads so far and a nice closable lid. This is a, a prescription pill container, but the best thing for storing random stuff that you need to keep locked in and then easy for sorting later. So I'll put that to the side. I'm sure I'll be able to add to it. And now there's some... Um, well, this looks like a couple of strings of beads. These are sort of random. They are not just sort of. These are random sized seed beads. You can see some of them are thick. Some of them are thin in nice red on a red string. There's two strands of them. And then there's some broken ones that sort of have been falling out of the jar. So I'm going to put these off to the side and then the broken ones will go in the garbage. Now I kept aside some earrings, but here's a beautiful little um, breast cancer awareness bracelet. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Lovely little pink rhinestones. Oh, I love this camera on this new phone. Love the new phone, but I love the camera. Now there's a the name on there. Let's see if I can figure out if I can show it to you. Avon! Oh wow. This, this is so much better. Avon. So it's an Avon Cancer Awareness Bracelet. It's beautiful. I had a cousin who passed away last year from cancer. She was only 50. Her mother had cancer as well. Um, so I might... Uh, Let's see if one of her sisters would like this. I think that would be a beautiful little memento. Um, whoops. I didn't 
close it properly. There we go. It goes down in the bottom. No, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. So there's a special little slot it has to fit into before it closes. Isn't that pretty? Lovely. Alrighty. Now, I thought I had seen, you remember I showed you this one earring, right? This big shiny guy. Well, I thought I'd seen a match for it, but instead what I saw were these. These are, um, they look like a fairly new style. I'll take them apart. Um, this one's a little, well, maybe not. Yeah, I think that one's a little bent compared to the bro its sister, brother. Anyway, so a really, like, look at the sparkle. Wow, there's some uh, uh, magnification in there. And look at how interesting this little uh, loop is. That's not, that's more, a much more modern design for um, screw back earrings. I don't see any name on them, even if I bring them up closely. But boy, nice pair of earrings. I have a granddaughter who doesn't have pierced ears yet, and she's a little anxious about getting them done. But, you know, she would steal these and try to wear them if she could. I also found this little uh, dangle, beautiful little uh, lampwork bead or embellished bead. Just beautiful. I don't know if this is a real pearl, full pearl, um, but great little dangle right there by itself. Here's something I also found when I was picking up the beads. It's some kind of a pendant. I don't know if it says something on the back there. I guess not. But a little pendant or part of an earring. It, it uh, feels like plastic, but it has a kind of a look of shell or a bunch of pieces of shell cast in resin. So maybe there'll be a second one in there or an earring that's missing this. And I'm going to leave the other um, single earrings to later. So here's some more stuff that came out with... Oh, and I was right about that, you know, well, that thing that kind of looked like it was part of an earring. Well, there's a... It's not a match, but it's a mate for it, and it's all tangled up in some jewelry. So, I'm going to put... <laughs> I have this interesting tangle. Look at this thing. Let's see if stuff shakes loose from it. Is it... Oh, it... this is an earring. Look at this. This is an earring. Can you imagine? It's kind of cool. I... I guess you wear it front to back. Like, this is the back, so you wear it like that. Kind of interesting. It would make a nice part of a focal, uh, the pendant. So I'll put that aside to see if I can find a match for it. Might be a pair. Um, I saw these. We saw these pony beads when I was showing off the beginning of the jar. So that'll go with my kid stuff. And here's ooh. I think this is just part of the. Um, rhinestones that we saw because I still see more rhinestones in the jar this is stretchy so what it is is if you can see when I pull it apart you can see it's three rows of um, cup chain that this is called let's see if all the rhinestones are there I have a little bit of a froggy throat I apologize so um, it's uh, Lobster claw piece. All the rhinestones are there. Quite pretty. Um, can't get it to lie flat, but it would just, it needs the curve of a neck to do that. And uh, very pretty piece. It's worn at the back. Obviously, it's had some loving wear. Um, but a lot of rhinestones, a lot of ways it could be. Um, upgraded simply by changing the um, the the chain and the clasp on it uh, and give it new life. So very, very nice. And there was this 
This is glass beads, and I see it's got a tag on. <gasps> oh my God, look what this says. Miriam Haskell, incredible surprise. What a thing to find in a jewelry jar. Oh my goodness. I'll edit out the cough later. But look, it's a Miriam Haskell clasp. And I, uh, since the bead on the clasp matches, there we is a little bit closer, matches the beads on the necklace. Look at these. Oh my goodness. This is my first intact Miriam Haskell necklace and very wearable length. Like, there it is. Um, of course, I don't. Oh, I have a ruler. I have a ruler today. So, let's see. We'll do inches for the those of you who are more. So, 7 times 4, 28. So, probably about 28 to 30 inches long. And the clasp is in excellent shape. Oh my goodness. Who could have thought? Oh wow. I am so thrilled. I could cry. It's so beautiful. Like what a what a present. That that is amazing. Okay, that 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 surpasses the rhinestones, the modern rhinestones, really easily. Mm, have to put that off to the side. Okay, Pat, take a deep breath. Who knows what else you're going to find in here now. Alrighty. And the stuff is starting to untangle. That was all in that mess. So, I remember I said this might be part of an earring. Well, there's the earring with the red tones. This one's got blue, more blue tones. So, I don't know if they're meant to be a pair. Um, uh, I would hope that there were... This one was a part of a red and black pair, and this was part of a blue and white pair. But I'm going to put them to the side anyway, and we'll see what we come up with. Here is, I see Miriam Haskell. Hello, it's Pat Hood from Passions of Pastime, back with some little post-production updates. So these are the beads that, uh, the odd beads, that are kind of left over that don't really match up with anything. This one, pink one, might have a match in the pink discs. So that's not too bad. There's some nice focal beads in there that can be reused. There were, however, quite a few uh, little packages of beads that I was able to put together. I'm just going to get these off to the side, out of the way. So I got some little uh, green cubes, some, these are little pinch beads, this whole uh, range of colors, nice autumn colors of uh, these probably 10 millimeter glass beads, some flat ovals, uh, this is uh, some uh, crackle, sort of uh, interior crackle clear beads. Four of these uh, mottled, misshapen uh, blue beads. Some similar in aqua. And then some two different sizes of these flat ovals. These are like a, a greenish and bluish little um, spiral shell type bead these pinch beads couple or not a couple a small number of these round cat's eye beads there you can see the cat's eye very well some nice speckled uh, oval beads this is a variety of different flower type beads different colors flat ones sort of uh, trumpet shaped ones so, uh, a variety of rectangular beads in the same size some white flat discs that match the other discs these ones are um, like a donut type bead and uh, a couple of blue twisted ovals. And what else? Oh yes, there's um, this little strand of beads we saw. These sort of mirror, peacock mirror sh uh, coating and a couple of odd um, 
flat ovals that look kind of like stone. So quite a great variety of beads. The uh, earrings that had the little dangles on them, there weren't, weren't enough pieces to uh, make them into a matching pair, so I took everything off. I might, uh, I might try to put on some one of the dangles. There's only two ovals um, to match, but I might just leave them like that and donate them the way they are. And then finally, this pair of earrings. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to say they're a pair of earrings, even though the stone, and I'm pretty sure this is a stone, now that it stays gold. <coughs> and on the back of one of them, which one is it? They're actually marked. I have to test them to make sure that these really are silver, but it's a beautiful, it looks like almost like sodalite, that blue stone in that one. And then this one's darker, but that's normal for sodalite to have that variation of color. If I put them side by side, it's very obvious, but I, I probably less obvious when you're wearing them because of how the light would uh, um, bounce off them. And people aren't going to be looking at both earrings, right? Exactly the same time. Otherwise, these can be, these uh, backs could be turned into hoops and they could be little, uh, little pendants of some sort. So I'll have to test them and then when I'm uh, putting the pieces of the video together I'll let you know if these really are serving, uh, sterling, sterling silver, 925 that is. Thanks very much. Thanks for uh, uh, putting up with me while I learn how to use my new camera. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.